community, veterans in the Fox Valley hosted a special celebration for those that have served or are currently serving our country. NBC 26's Valerie Juarez attended the ceremony in Menasha and brings us the latest. It's National Armed Forces Day, a day that pays tribute to all of those who have served or are currently serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. Honoring our military this weekend, local veterans from Nina and Menasha came together as they put on a special tribute. Only 1% of the country protects the rest of the country. And this is just to honor all veterans and all people that have served our nation to keep it safe from uh, aggression or anything else that uh, could destroy our democracy. President Harry Truman established this day in 1949, and it's traditionally celebrated every year on the third Saturday of May. And not only did the community come out to show their support and patriotic spirit for Armed Forces Day, but they also came out to remember a very special man who did a lot for our nation. Kenny Stump was uh, a Menasha resident, went to Menasha High School. Kenneth Stump, who he's referring to, is a Vietnam War hero and Medal of Honor recipient. That's the United States' highest military award for valor. In 1967, he made three trips under enemy machine gun fire to carry on his back three wounded members of his squad to safety. He was also very instrumental in destroying enemy gun positions that had his comrades under fire. He is, has the Medal of Honor, the Legion Merit, three bronze stars, uh, a purple heart, and he has 22 more medals. Unfortunately, he passed away last month at age 77. This Armed Forces ceremony also served as one last tribute for him as he will soon be buried at Arlington National Cemetery. We're at the Reagan Library, and Air Force One is inside of that, and we just took a picture at Air Force One. Thomas Robinson was a close friend of Stump, and as difficult as his passing was, he chooses to remember all the memories made together. Ken, very aggressive when he played sports, Traveled with him and on many Medal of Honor trips to New York. We'd go to Washington. The president would meet us at the Tomb of the Unknowns on Medal of Honor Day. So on this Armed Forces Day, we continue to honor Kenneth Stumpf and all of our military members. In Menasha, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26.